All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Sven off the mountain. Today, well, Sven off and Afanis here have been hatching up a little plot. Last episode, Sven off was um, not too happy with the way that uh, his king Ragavand conducted himself, constantly piecing out with enemies after just declaring war, making it so that. All the lords of the realm, including Svenolf, are now paying a shit ton of tributes to these factions that we had no business declaring war on, we could have beaten if we had stayed in the war, and yet he pieced us out anyways. Svenolf wasn't too happy about all that. Plus, after getting the dragon banner, the idea has come into his head that perhaps he himself should be the ruler. So, today we are going to be laying... The foundations of our plan to take over the Kingdom of Sturgia. So let me explain how we're going to do that. In order to stage a successful rebellion, we need a few things. We need a lot of money, we need a lot of troops, and we need allies on our side to flip over, to betray the king. And that's what we're going to be working on today. Honestly, all three of those with one simple, one simple trick that they don't want you to know. No, here's the plan. If we go ahead and look at all the different clans in the Kingdom of Sturgia, there's not that many, especially when you take into account a couple of these. One, this, this is us, Gundovering, that's Ragavand. So there are only eight other factions, one of which doesn't currently have a fief. Another one, uh, who's the other one? Kostovering, this one, they only have Grisego's Castle as their only fief, which is about to get retaken. There are only six other factions that we need to flip to our side. A couple of them already really like us. I think the Kulavin guys, Olek like already, we have a relation of 65 with him. We probably don't need to do too much more. But he is one of the better ones. He has a town and a castle. He has two fiefs. Here's the basic premise. Plan for this episode, since we are at war with the Empire, is to go in solo and capture as many lords as humanly possible. Sweep the entire empire, pick up every lord they got. We are going to then ferry. And in, in doing that, we're going to train up our troops. We're going to make a shit ton of money. Then we're going to take all those captured lords. We're going to bring them back to the Sturgeon mainland. And every time that you drop off an enemy lord in the dungeon of an ally, you gain not only a bunch of charm skill, also a ton of relationship with that ally. That is how we're going to boost our relationship with every powerful clan in the kingdom so that when it comes time for rebellion, we're going to have both the charm skill and the relation. They're going to be willing to join us to betray Ragavan. That is that is the, the plot. That is the main idea. I hope it works. I don't know. I haven't tried this. Um, previously, we had just been uh, just, just letting enemy lords go and you get relationship with them. But it makes way more sense to just keep them Give them to our other... <laughs> We're essentially doing mild human trafficking. It's okay. Um, give them to our allied lords and get relationship with them. Because they're the ones we're going to ask to uh, to join us in rebellion. So yeah. That's the idea. I'm hoping... Knock on wood. We have a... To oh, there, see? Grisego's castle already gone. So that's clan Vagivoring and Coastal Roving. They don't own any fiefs. We don't... Like, I mean... It'd be nice to have them on our side... But if we were to ask them to join us in the rebellion, they're not going to bring any castles or towns with them. We don't want to invest too many resources on them when we could convince lords that have a giant town and a couple castles to flip with us instead. Literally have Ragavan's ca uh, empire fall out from underneath him. I think that'd be, that'd be really cool. I don't think we can do this in one episode. This might be like a couple episode grind where we get our relationships up with everybody, build up to... I'd say if we could get about half a half a million dinars stored up, I think that's enough for rebellion. I think that's that'd be more than enough. Um, and let's say at least 60 relationship with all the major clans, maybe even 70, 80, and then you know 40, 50 relationship with all the minor clans that have like just say one one little castle. If we can get there, I think we're in really good shape. So I'm gonna kind of be running. Oh, perfect. Here we go. I'm going to kind of be running along the outskirts of Olek's army here. With the goal being that... Yeah, so he's going to go besiege Legata. Hopefully a bunch of little enemies are going to come streaming in. 
and we're just going to pick them off one by one. I think that's the move. Starting with you, Arenico. See, this, this is the perfect example right here. 35 troops, and I'm sure they're probably, yeah, they're actually, they're, they're mixed. They're not the best, though. We can just farm these guys. Farm like 10, 20 of them. I don't know, that might be a bit much. But if we can get that many, holy shit, we're going to be maxing out relations with all the most powerful clans in the game. Um, before we do this, I've been debating about doing this for a while. I think I'm going to pull the trigger. Because if you look here, we have a herd penalty of negative 0.6 on our speed. We have way too many horses. I think we might as well use some to upgrade these Variag veterans into Jusenix. 31 of them. <laughs> Where they get wait, where are they at? There they are. Now we have 32 of them. Holy shit. And I'm still gonna use infantry tactics. We're just gonna tell these guys to dismount at the beginning of every battle, and that should work fine. But that's broken. It's so broken. Alright, Arenicos, come over here, buddy. Sven off. It's been, have I met you before? Oh, he actually likes me. I think I've let him go in the past. He is uh kind of in for a rude awakening when we're not gonna let him go today. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, apparently. In the new 1.9 update, there are some changes as to what is the best uh, kind of battle tactics. Before, it was kind of just shield wall, advance, make sure your line is longer than theirs, and like you're pretty much good to go. Apparently, there's some changes here. Um, some your what you want to do now is go in with engage, which is what our guys are doing currently. So it's a little slow, and then as soon as as the walls meet. You're going to want to charge your boys in completely. What is going on with... Why do I still have some guys on horseback? Oh, the Fainus? But that looks like a Drusenic. Alright, so now we tell everybody to charge. Now that they've met. Obviously, these guys are not the strongest. So we're going to have to test this out on some of the bigger armies that we engage today. But, I mean, so far... <laughs> that seems to have worked pretty well. <laughs> uh, oh, we lost some... What? We lost a Drusenic to that? Bro... How do you die to that? Come on. <laughs> Alright, good stuff. Oh, actually, that just reminded me. Since all of our... The bulk of our forces are now technically cavalry, even though we're using them as infantry, I should probably switch over who Svenoff is leading. There we go. Perfect. Prisoner. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Not today. You don't get to go free today. Beautiful. Okay, a bunch of Drusenics leveled up. Um, I think we will level those up into... We still have a 0.6 herd penalty. What the fuck? Huh? Tell you what. Also, 0.2 prisoner penalty is pretty rough. We're just going to take one. We'll take Arenicus. Hmm. Alright. These guys are leveling up. Good. Um, hmm. Why is the herd penalty still the same? If we upgrade these guys, does it get better? It doesn't. I wonder if it's based on the amount of extra horses that you have compared to the amount of infantry you have. Or we might just have so... Honestly, we have like 100 plus horses here. We might have so many horses that we're at max herd penalty. It doesn't matter how many of them we use up. I think that might actually be what's happening. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Nope. Uh, anything good? That's the other, that's the other good thing about uh, getting into a shit ton of combat this episode. Tons of action, and hopefully tons of loot, as well as, oh, I forgot, every lord we take out, we gain relationship with a random faction in our kingdom. It's broken. This is, it, I think this is the most ideal way to go about preparing for rebellion. All right, let me see if we can't get into a few more combats here. Um, I want I want this episode to just be full of, or full of uh, action, so I'm going to be cutting a lot of footage out. Juicy, we got another one sitting right here while Olex making his way in. This is what I'm talking. Well, actually, he hasn't even seized them yet, so I don't know if <laughs> this poor guy he <laughs> he's not gonna know what hit him. <laughs> he just happened to be waltzing this way. Interesting. What kind of troops do you got here, buddy? Oh my god, it's a ton of recruits. Oh boy, come brother. Oh, literally, yeah, brotherhood. Okay, <laughs> you're in trouble, man. You are in a lot of trouble here. Alright, cool, cool. We've made it to a pretty good position. I'm not going to show too much of these, like, little lords. Like, we'll take out a couple of them, and then after that, like, the... Ooh, hello. Oh, only five damage. Yeah, that's nothing. Spenolf has, like, 150 HP at this point. That's not going to do much to him. 
But, uh, yeah, these little lords only have, like, 40 troops. I don't know how much of those I'll show. I'm hope Hopefully we'll get into some uh, bigger battles, especially once I level up our troops more. We don't have entirely Beyond Champions at this point. Wait for it. Actually, these guys are not even coming in, like, big enough numbers for us to worry about that. Just hold firm here. Fuck him up. Sven Ulf comes in from the side. Beautiful. And slips right back in. Oh, I love this. And it shouldn't be long before they start running, actually. Yeah, we just fucking shield wall here. If there was a big line, you want to, uh... Oh, look at their banner guy. Whoop! <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool how it just plants in place. But yeah, if we can just keep farming these dudes, this is... I mean, we shouldn't lose many troops at all, and we're gonna make tons of money. Beautiful, we done? If not, everyone charge in. Finish whoever's left. Oh, here he goes. And, oh my goodness! <laughs> like 50 arrows just... Have you, uh... Have you guys seen that gif where... I think it's from the show American Gods or something like that. But a guy, like, like is about to step into the some bushes. And then he gets, like, a hundred arrows shot into him, like, instantaneously. Do you, you know what gif I'm talking about? That's what that looked like right there. <laughs> that poor guy got stuck in our clump of infantry, and then every Batanian Fion within a hundred mile radius just took aim. Had the fucking red lasers, laser eyes pop up. <laughs> Alright, beautiful. We're getting a lot of influence for this too. Alright, you're my prisoner. Thank you. Two of many more to come, hopefully. Um, yeah, how many? Okay, so we're going to have 15 Fions at this point. Where are the rest of my... Oh, there we go. We have a bunch of heroes. Okay. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. I think, honestly, I'd almost prefer us having a little higher ratio of Batanian Fions. Of uh, just archers to infantry at this point. Oh, here we go. There's another one of these guys. Just a slightly more. And honestly, with how fast we're moving and the fact that we have a herd penalty, a large one, it might make sense for us to just pick up more archers at some point. Um... Ooh, Masterwork Iron Spatha. Dude, ho I'm just, I'm really hoping at some point we get some really nice armor. Like a lordly set of something that's actually a major upgrade for us. Like even if it's like shoulder guards or something, or like boots or gauntlets. Something like that would be nice. Hopefully we'll get at least one of those before the end of the episode. Alright, we're going to keep on patrolling here. We'll wait for uh, Oleg to get here. What the hell? Oh, Azurai. For some reason, I thought that was um, this dude. Oh, wait, no, it is that guy. Yaelir. Wait, what the fuck? What are you doing all the way? Bro, <laughs> what are you doing down here? He's going for, like, a summer vacation down to the coast. Dude, you are the only leader of that faction. You have no one to back you up. If someone declared war on you right now, you'd be fucked. It's an interesting tactic. I'll give him, I'll give him that much. Sfadorn. Who the fuck is that? He looks... Bro, that was a crispy-looking helmet. Where's he making an army at? He's over here. All right, so he'll, ma he'll make his way over here at some point. So yeah, the goal is right now... Okay, villagers, villagers. He starts this, the, the siege. Beautiful. Small lords come running. This is... Oh, we're about to eat. Svenoff is gonna eat today, baby. <laughs> Ooh, hold up. Is that... Are those cataphracts? You got some... It, yep, those are his two only elite cataphracts. Alright, man, this poor this poor brotherhood. They got hired to fight for the Empire, and uh, every single one of them is going to end up in the same j uh, jail cell. <laughs> Alright, here we go, another group. So these guys actually have cavalry, so you want to make a really condensed formation still with cavalry, so they get tripped up. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, and in a sec, we'll tell our boys to charge, I think. I should do that now. Alright, get in there, lads. Okay. I swear to God, my Fions are missing way more shots than they normally do. What is this, boys? Is it because he's one of your own? I need you guys to be savages. No qualms about killing your own Batanian Fions. They're on the opposing side, so what we gotta do. 
Give me him. Give me him. Give me him. Oh, no. He got... So oh, my goodness. Yep. All right. <laughs> Rip him. Uh, what did we lose? We lost one guy. We lost uh, one Batanian hero. That's fine. Beautiful. We will trade one hero, one Batanian hero for an enemy lord captive. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. So, all right. Before we get too far into this episode. So, how many? Is this three guys now? All right. That's three lords that we've taken. I want you guys to place a bet on how many prisoners we're going to have by the end of this and put it in the comments. Before we get too far into this, you know. Otherwise, you probably just skip to the end. You could check out. Uh, increase charge damage. Charge damage does a lot more than it used to. Still not worth it. Still not worth it, though. Um, yeah, we're just going to take all this loot. I think that's how we've been getting so many horses. Yeah, we, I mean, we've got way over... We've got well over 100 even now after upgrading all those guys. We just keep on getting them from, uh, from battles. I mean, it's a good problem to have, uh, I think, but... Hmm. I think what we'll do, we'll stick through to the end of this siege, whether we win it or I have a feeling a large army is going to come. Maybe the one that took out Crusagos, I don't know how big that one was, uh, is going to come in and it might interrupt us. Although, nine, 911 troops is a decent amount. Um, we might be able to fend them off. But anyways, once this siege is over, win or lose, we'll run over to uh, the Sturgeon homeland and uh, we'll start garrisoning lords in selected castles um, and just see how that's doing for us. All right. See how long before someone else shows up. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was right about to pause the recording. Dachin, huh? Of the, like, Cusates? Kara Kurgitz. Interesting. What do you got? He's got very eggs. What the f- How dare you use my own magic against me? I was there when those spells were written. Or, I don't know, something like that. I forget what the quote is. Alright, but he does have some ranged cavalry. Horse archers. Alright, interesting. So be a good, uh... Ooh, hello, can we get to him before... Okay, now I'm not trying to get dogpiled by both of them. Alright, back up. Right, that guy's definitely way too small to take us as is. Let's just see what the siege is looking like. Alright, they're getting close. Shit, am I gonna have to... Are they actually gonna... No. Okay, I need to be careful and make sure I don't get caught out here. And I don't know if I attack them right now. Oh, did the battle start? Or is that just... I think that's just signifying that the... Like they're done building. Oh, look at these tiny lords! This is what we came here for! Come on. Right, maybe let's... Why did I get uh, the uh, disorganized penalty there? Was that just because I left the siege camp? I think it might be. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, all right, this this could be a juicy fight here. This could be a juicy fucking fight. Two lords, they outnumber us. Dodge into the Karakurgates. Yeah, I don't think we fought these guys yet. I'm sure some someone with your reputation knows that nothing in this world is as valuable as the weight of your word. Speak truthfully with me and I shall do the same with you. In our lands, it's customary to pay us a tax for our protection unless you want to fight. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. How much would it... 33,000! Suck my dick. Yeah, I'll see you on the, uh, the field of battle. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Alright, before I forget here, let's go ahead and... Because I did forget for the last one. Let's put Spen off at the head of these guys. We'll keep Alanya, Apollonia on that. Yeah, and so this will get our... All all of these guys will take 10% less melee damage. Yeah, that's correct. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead. They're gonna... So they're attacking us. So this is actually a beautiful hill. We can just stay on here because they'll come to us. We'll put our archers right here. Infantry in front. I think that's the move. Alright. Uh, Infantry! Whoops, what am I doing? Alright. Soldiers! Warriors! Move forward wall. Yeah, right Get moving, there. Lads. Archers right about Move. here. Alright, that should be good. We're always moving to position. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That's what I love seeing all those arrows fly. Alright, let's see if we can't get a little little mixy here with uh with Avalanche. Oh damn it. 
I was going after the straggler and we couldn't even get him. Oh yeah, get caught up on the horses, baby. Yes, sir. Oh wait, that was one of the lords. We just one-tapped their lord. <laughs> and an elder. GG's. Ooh, that's... Okay, hold up. Those lances are a little scary. Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, the AI on horse archers has changed. That's a little scary. Didn't like that. Thought they were all just gonna have their... Perpetually have their bows out. Oh, there's their banner guy. Down he goes. And another elder. I don't know if their elders are actually good units or not. Um, you guys, fill the gap there. Get right next to him. Actually, tell you what. Uh, and you guys engage. Because they have a ton of archers here. I need to be careful not to get myself killed. Like, trying to focus on leading the troops and giving orders. Fuck your uh, little banner guy over there. Yeah, Batanian Fion with a banner. He's not actually able to uh, use his bow. Alright, our guys are slowly working their way in. We like that. Oh, come on. How is that not in range, baby? Let me get this guy. Yes, sir. Alright, hold on. I think we just need to charge him in. It's time to eat, boys. It's time to earn your keep. Let's eat. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> There's nothing more fun than, like, just chaining kills one after another from horseback. Especially... Oh, nice block, man. Alright. Especially with Avalanche. Like, just a giant two-handed axe. Like, it's just so satisfying. Okay, hold on. I want to maintain HP here. Alright, alright. How are we looking here, huh? Oh, wait, I thought they were in full-scale retreat. Apparently, that was them, uh... Fuck out of here, Barry Egg. Should be on my side, not theirs. Why are you fighting with the Kurgits? <laughs> Look at our banner guy, just chasing after him. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it said Elite Cataphract for a sec. Beautiful! Good work. Uh, I don't think we're gonna catch any of those guys. Beautiful. Oh my god, we only lost a single troop?! <laughs> What a battle! Oh my god! <laughs> That's insane! Oh, we can level up all the Drazenix now, too. That's so good. Oh, that's so fucking good. That's actually insane. Alright. All thanks to the man himself, Strat Gaming. By the way, I wanted to make sure I gave him a shout out because he just released a 30 minute episode or video going in detail. Uh, about all the new changes to tactics and battle AI uh, with the new 1.9 update. So, please, if you guys are playing the game, check that out. He put in so much fucking effort. He puts in... He is the number one goaded, like, guide creator in all of Mountain Blade. So, I want to make sure I did that because uh, I will definitely be using a lot of his tactics today. Alright, I think we're just going to upgrade all these guys into champions. Right? They just become so much better. What's the difference between the two exactly? So from 130 one-handed and 100 athletics to 200 one-handed 140 athletics. And 140 pole arm to 170. Uh, yeah. And what appears to be significantly better armor. Oh, fuck yeah. We'll go ahead and upgrade all those. Costs? Actually, not even that much. The main cost is in the war horses, but once again, we still have a massive herd penalty. Like, it's it's fine. We can, we can do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and upgrade you guys. Go ahead and upgrade you guys. Go ahead and upgrade you. Beautiful. Um, I think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna bother with the, taking the regular troops captive. They don't sell for that much, generally. I mean, we might take, like, a cataphract, I guess. Like, the tier 6 units? Or tier 5, I mean. But they're just gonna slow us down, is the thing. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that many. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Reinforced. It's not quite better than what we have. It's not quite better than what we have. 17 and 4. It's actually, I mean, it's tied. Depends. Do we want to trade uh, 3 body armor for 3 arm armor? Hmm. I, I'm going to say probably not. This is probably an upgrade for somebody else, though. Yeah, this is, would be nice for a Thanus. What about Udris? Yeah, this is a big upgrade for Udris. We'll go ahead and give him that. There you go, champ. 
right, nothing else too crazy though. I was kind of hoping for something better, but the Q-Zates are not exactly the most well-armed, um, or armored. Ooh, boy. We are already at capacity. Mm. I don't like that we're lowering our speed. But we do already have, what, six prisoners? And more to come? Or no, five, I think? Five. Alright, let's keep hanging tight. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to fight them, obviously. <laughs> as good as we just did, we're not quite ready for that smoke. Alright, another guy just showed up, but he's kind of on the wrong side of Akios here. I mean, let's see if we can catch him out, maybe. Doesn't look like it. What is what is, what is Akios doing? He's Okay, he's running away from us. Will these guys actually join us if we catch them here? Like, close to the army? Ah, this is getting risky. Oh, someone just died of old age, rip. Okay. Don't know who that was. Oh, they're separating. Oh, you fools! You fools! Uh, okay, here's another army coming in, but still, the two of those armies combined don't match ours. Oh, you fools! You left them out to dry! Bro, we're gonna have the entire Brotherhood and the entire Karakurgits, like, all in one prison cell. This is gonna be great. I can't, I can't wait for this. Alright, yeah, bring it here, buddy. Bring it here. Okay, yeah, these guys are tiny. I don't even know why I'm using tactics with this. Like, there's so few of them. I guess this is a good way to keep on leveling up our two-handed. Probably not going to get too much athletics out of this. That's the other nice thing about just going on a fucking killing spree, is that we're going to get a ton of level-ups for ourselves as well. And we should get a ton of XP from the, all the charm skill we get from, uh... Attack! Oh, look at the arrows raining in. I love it. Ooh, okay, okay. We got some hitters there. Got a little something, something. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that makes sense. I was actually facing the wrong direction. I probably am not able to uh, block that when I <laughs> my weapon isn't even between us. I right, come here. I want you. Ooh, okay, 67. Good shot, good shot. That hurt. Okay, we're both just embarrassing ourselves. There we go, thank you. <laughs> the enemy is just so disorganized, I don't even know what's happening. Alright, yeah, let's just go to town on them. Oh my god, what a whiff. Here we go, banner, banner, gone. Another one. Come on. Finally, our infantry is showing up. Beautiful. We don't want to take too much damage here in between fights, just because we have the siege is probably going to be pretty soon. Luckily, they're Kurgits. They don't do much damage, like, <laughs> even if they are hitting you flush. The only ones we have to worry about are the cataphracts that they recruited. Ooh, see, horses come in with speed now. They buffed cavalry, they, like, increased charge damage by a ton, and the AI is just a little better, learning how to line up its shots. But, um... I don't know, it still hasn't been used to too much effect against us. Alright, we lost one champion, that's not too bad. Good work, good work. And the good news is, when we go and, um... and drop off these lords at the end of the siege, we can just stop by Karabansef and uh, pick up some more. Like, we'll have plenty of troops. Alright, beautiful. So we are up to now six prisoners. Okay. Alright. Oh! Yes! Finally! We got a good upgrade. Look at this shit. 23 versus our 18 that we had before. Beautiful. Masterwork Corsair Lance. Dude, we're gonna... When we finally... Hopefully we do take Legata here. And that way we're able to sell at their market. We're going to make bank. Nice little war mount there, too. Is that a new one for us? It is not. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have a bunch of those. Okay. Holy shit, 1800 a pop. Those things are not cheap. All right, let's get back to Olek before they attack us. Oh, no, shit, one of them escaped. Fuck, have I been holding them too long? Hmm. Okay, that might be a problem. If they keep on escaping from us. We might have to make more frequent trips back. Alright, yeah, they can't... 
They can't attack us. Legata has a big garrison. Low key. Oh boy. Okay. Um. That does change things. Do we leave? Now. Or risk potentially getting trapped in place. I think we just stay for a little bit. And see how things shake out. I mean, we've already got... We should just be going in. We've got a battering ramp and a siege tower. Like, what the fuck are we waiting for? We got these guys on the on the horizon. Uh, just play at one time speed. He's disorganized. It's gonna take him a sec. Come on, please go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. What are you doing? Go in. How many, how many do they have again? Seven. Bro, there's over two thousand here. We can't. We can't, we can't win a fight like. A little under a thousand versus two thousand. I don't think we can, at least. I could be wrong. As fun as that might be to try. Come on, go in! What are you doing? Olek! No, come on. Oh. No. Fuck, and doesn't the. Isn't the garrison gonna come out and fight us too? So it's like 2400 against 900. 970 with us. Bro, are we actually going to try to pull this off? Stop building. Why? We don't need an onager. Who's leading this? Olek, buddy. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, Olek. He managed to snipe them before uh, Aminon got in range. So what are we up against here? We're against all those lords... And not the castle garrison, so we actually have the numbers advantage. Holy shit, no way. Are we actually going to pull this off? We still have 1,300 troops to deal with after this. But if we can win this without too many casualties, there's a chance. There's a chance. Alright. Well, alright, worst case scenario... If we're left with like 400 troops at the end of this, or less, I, I think we just kind of have to tell Olek, you know, hey, sorry man, <laughs> you know, good luck on your own, we are leaving. Um, yeah, there's just, even at full strength, man, 900 against 13, what, 60? That's just a lot. That's that's a lot. And it's, it's so much more important that we keep our army alive, and we deliver all these prisoners to the dungeons that they belong in. It's so much... You guys are going to see. It is so much relationship that we're about to gain. Uh, Fainus, you don't even have any archer perks. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? Since we're not even in control of the main army... I think we just... What is the command? F7. Ah! I think we just tell our troops to retreat and get out of this battle so we don't lose any. Because the problem with the AI is that they charge at dumb times and they don't charge at the right time. And I think, um... Ooh, hold up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a banner. There's a banner. Hold up. If we snipe their banner, I don't think they know how to pick it back up. Boom! Okay, is that all their cavalry are now without their buffs? Did I- is that what just happened? Oh, this guy doesn't like me at all. Get out of here. Oh! Oh! They're not mad that- or they're a little mad that I took out their banner, I think. A little salty about that still. Okay, alright. Let me, uh... Let me through, boys! Let me through, let me through. Alright, thank you, thank you. Ouch. Fuck off. Alright, we got our revenge. Slowly trying to wade our way, trampling our own friendlies as we go. Alright, alright, nice, nice, nice. Another one down. Should I go try to snipe the uh the banners of like their their infantry and their archers? Is that like the meta? Is that, I mean, in a battle this large, by taking out that banner early on, we are robbing hundreds of troops of a bonus. Now we don't know what bonus. We don't know how good of a banner they're using, but I mean, I would assume something like at least half decent. Even if it's something small, like robbing all their cavalry of, like, extra charge damage. When you multiply that by uh, hundreds of troops, that makes a big difference. I see one over here. I think that's their archers? 
Yeah, hold on. Let me go see if I can take this guy out. They're not looking at me. No, 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 no. No, fuck. My, my own friendly's getting away. Okay, someone kill him. He's literally the only one left. Okay, there we go. Another banner down. What about their infantry? Their infantry have to have a banner somewhere, right? Oh, wait. I think that's down too. Unless that was the other one we took out. Which I'm not sure if it is or not, actually. If not, if that's their infantry banner, then I think they've just lost all of their banners. Wait. Wait, 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 hold up. Which banner is this? That's the fourth banner, isn't it? Am I missing something? Oh, wait, they probably have, they have two different groups of cavalry. They have cavalry archers and cavalry, like, their heavy cap. That makes sense. Okay, all right, all right, all right, that checks out. All right, their infantry are just, like, slowly, menacingly, like, walking towards us. Um, are we going to pull our archers back, or are we just... No? Let the archers be our front line, huh? It's, uh... Oh, okay, they're charging in. Oh, my God, the tempo picked up real quick. All right, let's get behind our boys. We're going to let them take the main brunt of the charge. We still have our banners up. Oh, shit. Uh, we're outnumbered on this flank. I don't like that much at all. All right. Name of the game here. This is a long battle. We need to maintain our HP. That probably means I'm not supposed to go after groups of enemies where they outnumber us, but we're doing that anyways. Okay, good work, good work. Pull a bow out so we can get a few shots in the back. Damn it, cavalry, I want to shoot at them and you're getting in my way. And a VMP from a couple years ago would have just shot anyways and probably killed half his troops. A little, uh... We, <laughs> we used to call that hashtag crunch time whenever we did that. So I'm pretty sure there was a moment where I was popping off with the bow, and I was like, crunch time, baby, as I'm getting headshot, headshot, headshot. And then I proceeded to headshot and kill a couple of our own troops. And I think that just kind of stuck. Might have been a live stream now that I'm thinking about it. Tends to be where I get made fun of for that, that kind of thing. What? Bro. These crossbowmen, y'all are in the wrong neighborhood. I don't know why you're so far up from your line. Okay, hold up. Your whole line is here, and I don't have a shield. We're going to go ahead and hop off here. And now we'll go in with our troops. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom. Oh, they're, just getting, they're just melting away. I, I, I kind of want to pick up this uh, banner, but at the same time, I don't have any one-handed weapons. So we would actually be useless. I think we'd only be able to use... It. Ooh! A little, little quick VMP move there. We'd love to see it. Um, I think we'd only be able to use our javelins, right? We wouldn't be able to use the bow or avalanche. How many, uh... We've killed 370 of them. There should be a lot left. That's like only half of them. Oh, they're still gonna get reinforcements. That's what's... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that doesn't show up on the, uh... Like the little battle meter yet. Oh, what an unlucky shot to take there. That was like a 22 damage from a random javelin that wasn't even aimed at us. That's a lot of shields. Ooh, okay, he's gone, he's gone. Let's stick behind the shields until we get nice and close. Ooh, now we eat. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Go. There we go, baby. Need to remember, Svenolf deals extra extra morale penalty to enemies when he kills them with two-handed weapons. So these kills are actually pretty important. We make them retreat faster when Svenolf is getting them compared to normal. Oh shit! Hold up, we're kind of disorganized. That's a lot of enemies and relatively few of us. Trying to preserve HP. In case we do have another battle after this that we decide to take. Fuck. Oh, whoa. They got a lot of units left. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're nowhere close to done with this. I don't like how disorganized we're getting. But, once again, we can't control that. That's the uh, AI. We've got 26 kills already, though. We're doing pretty good. Yep. 
Oh, it was a headshot too. Okay, yep. There you go. That's a prime example of hashtag crunch time. <laughs> Headshotting a friendly. Let's get a couple of shots there. 289 athletics. I didn't even realize we've we've probably been getting tons of uh, skill points this this episode. Okay, the quality of enemy troops appears to be starting to go down. Come on. Oh no! Oh no! I'm getting hit by a bunch of fucking range units. All right, let me go over here. I <laughs> got him. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Oh, 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 close. Also close to headshotting one of our own dudes. Did we get him? Oh, this is it. That's the last bit of him. Okay. Okay. I wish I had a horse. Uh, I wish I had a horse. Hold up. Okay, there's actually a lot of battlefield left from the looks of it. If we can get this horse. We can actually... We still have time to uh, get a bunch of kills with Avalanche. We're just trying to get our percent of the battle loot up at this point. Come on, go, 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 Where's the edge of the map? Okay, have they hit it yet? Okay, oh, oh, here it is. No! Okay. 39, there we go. That's a good amount, that's a good amount. 5% of the loot, we'll take that. Because that was all us, that was only us. None of our troops contributed at all. We will take that. Beautiful. Good work. All right. Hopefully, like, something nice. 5% isn't that much, but... I don't know. It's a little something. Something. That was 800 troops. It was 800 enemies. 5% of 800 should be something. All right. We've got a good amount of relationship with him. Nice. Okay. Don't really care about the prisoners. That's only going to slow us down. Ooh. Look at this. Cataphract, half-scale barding, huh? Is that worth us, uh... Hmm. Ooh, this is pretty good, too. 11 and 10? That's actually the same as what we have. It's just a little more balanced, more arm armor. Um... We'll give this to, uh... To Athanas here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Dude, do we... Maybe we should try a battle with this, uh... I'm not, how much speed... It doesn't really show us how much speed that takes off of our horse. But that gives us... That gives it a lot of tankiness. I wish it gave it more... It should give it more charge damage, I feel like. You're getting run into by something a lot... A lot tougher now. Uh, oh, this is a big buff? For both of you. There you go. You're welcome, you're welcome. The rest of this, not so much. Yeah, I'll just take the rest of that. <sighs> Alright, so what are we at now? 776, huh? Hmm. Boy. I think that's just too many. Right? Yeah, this is just too many. Two hundred twenty-four relatively weak infantry. Another one hundred fifty-seven archers. One hundred fifty-eight trained archers. They've only got somehow they only have thirteen elite cataphracts in that entire army. That seems low to me, doesn't it? I think we have to dip. Yeah, no, nah, we gotta dip. We gotta dip. Sorry. Sorry, Olek. Good luck with your uh, your siege there. I would recommend stopping it. You should have just gone in, man. We had the numbers. We could have we could have just gone in, but instead you're gonna get taken out. All right. So now we're gonna head back to Sturgia. Who should I drop? All right, what are the closest ones? Because I don't want too many of them to escape. So we have Uthalaim Castle. That's owned by the Vizov Vizovings. Let's look them up real quick. <laughs> um, Owned by these guys. Okay. So we don't have any relation with them so far. Alright. Alternatively, 
Mazadan Castle is owned by Kulavang, which I'm pretty sure they already like us. Yeah, that's Olek. Yeah, we've already got 69 with him. I don't think we have to focus on that too much more. Um, what about Cranorog? Cranorog might be... Yeah, that's uh, Ragavan. Hmm. Omar is owned by oh, Kulavang again. Damn, if we want to get the, uh, get it to to some new lords, we're gonna need something else. Maybe we do just go to Uthalheim. Maybe we just give it to Uthalheim. The other ones we would we'd be looking for would be uh, to go Raving, and they own. I shouldn't be moving while I'm not looking. They own Revel. Do you think we could get all the way up to Revel without losing too much, without too many of them escaping? Maybe we just play it safe. We know that some of them have started escaping already. Ooh. Hello. I think... Oh, yeah. He's way faster than us. We're not going to be able to catch him. We should actually probably keep our eyes out on... If there's... Oh. Hold up. Can I come back in time to get this guy? That'd be sweet. That'd be one extra... Oh, there's another one right... Hold up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Okay. Get out. Get out. Here we go. Here's another one that we can take out. Yeah, they just, they got stomped there. They only took out a hundred of them. Yeah, that was just not the move to go in there. 77. We could try to fight that guy too after these guys. That would really round out <laughs> the number of prisoners that we have. Amnon of the Legion. Why are like half the prisoners we've been taking just random mercenaries? <laughs> not, we don't even have that many actual lords from, uh, <laughs> from the Empire. Alright, it's, it's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. Alright, Apollonia is back. We love to see it. Yes, we love that uh, that banner on you. Increased accuracy. Um, I think this actually works out pretty well. Yeah, I think that's fine. I mean, Udric is pretty good with infantry anyways. Increased melee damage. Yeah, I think that's good. What do we have? We have decreased melee attack damage taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Uh, no, Clouds! Near each other room. This actually, you know what? This is another tiny battle. We don't need to show too much of this. Okay, as it turns out, these guys are... Wait, are they charging us? I thought they were charging us there. If not, I'll just tell my guys to advance. Uh, I guess maybe not. It looked like they were charging right at us, and I was like, alright, I guess we're doing this thing, huh? <laughs> Get clobbered off your horse. Absolutely wrecked. Uh, tell you what. You guys can just charge in. Archers? Soldiers! I might have them go like over here. That way they have a view of them. Yeah, I think that's the move. It's that or have them go up over here, but I feel like that's a longer. Actually, maybe not. Forward! Archers, come over here. Ah, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I'm being too indecisive. Go over there. Our guys are just charging in. I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine. Ow! Fuck you. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Okay, you know what? Leave no survivors. Literally murder all of them. I'm, I'm mad at them for hitting me that many times at range. There we go. Get a double kill on the standard bear. Another couple kills. Round it out. And uh, like I said, no survivors. No survivors. <laughs> uh, the last one might actually get away. Unless... Unless... Horsey, horsey. Ah, damn it, he did get away. Just barely. Alright, nice. More influence, didn't lose anybody. Perfect. Exactly what we want to see. Once again, probably not too much loot from this, but it all adds up. I mean, we're at capacity for carrying weight right now. Although a lot of that, I think, is just our food. I really need to sell a lot of that off. Alright, you're my prisoner. And some of it is food that we're getting from our enemies. Uh, ooh, can I actually recruit this cataphract? Might as well. Welcome aboard. And nothing... Yeah, nothing too crazy there. Just more loot. Um, Alright, 77. What do you got? Show me what you got. Hmm. 
He's decent. We can beat him. Yeah. We'll fight him, and then that'll be our last prisoner, unless... No, okay, he's going to Garyos. Okay, never mind. Let's get out of here. Let's go drop off the prisoners. How many do we have again? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like we should have more than that. Did more of them escape? Like, while I wasn't looking? Also, Jesus Christ. Alright, there's a lot of enemies here now. Yep, alright. Tides have turned. It's time to dip. Time to dip. Let's go ahead, um... Let's just drop them off at Uthalim. We'll get, uh... Yeah, we'll get them on our side. I think that's the move. Alright, I changed my mind. We made it all the way up here to... Oh, wait. We took... We took Varon Castle? Who did that? Oh, probably Svedorn, right? Oh, good for you, man. Nice. Um, we made it all the way up here to Revel, because this is... Preferably, we'd like relationship with, with these guys, just because they have a town. Um, let's... So, where do we go here? Keep. Dungeon. Donate prisoners. Alright. Let's do this one at a time and see what we get from this. So, just one guy. What do we get? Six relation. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. How much uh, XP are we getting for this? Oh, we're about to level up. All right, we're at 384,000 out of 392. Let's give them one more. Six. Beautiful. How much XP did that give us? 3,000. Okay. That's not bad. Another one. Boom. Relationship increased by 20? Ooh, who? Bro, who did we just give him? Why was he worth so much more? Holy shit. Um... Okay. Okay. We're just leveled up, too. Alright. Here's the thing. We're kind of at the cap for a charm right now. We're at, like, a soft cap. We'll slowly go up a little bit higher, but not too much higher. Do we throw one more focus point into charm? Because we're going to continue, you know, doing this with lords for a little bit more. So we'll have time to really jack charm up high. And that should make it so that it's almost a guarantee... For when we're convincing lords to join us. I think that's worth. The perks are kind of meh. I mean, I don't know. It, we could probably... We might be able to get up to this one. As a result. What is that? 125? It'd be 35 more. Eh. It'd be close. And this one... Oh, this one's really good too. This one would be really nice. Plus 20% relationship uh, gain with other male lords. That'd be really good. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the move. Okay. So now, we give another one. Plus another six. We're up to 55. Holy. Okay. Another one. And look at all this charm that we're getting. 61. All right, let's give him the last one. Arena Coast. All right, this is an actual lord. Is he worth more? He's not. All right, only six. But damn, Charm's already up to 97 from that. Alright, let's enter the dungeon and check it out. <laughs> oh my god. I, I really like this strategy. This is fun. Alright, where are all the uh, the prisoners at? Where where are they at? Oh, they... Wait. How do I get down there? Holy shit, this thing's a goddamn maze. Are those rats I hear? Good, serves them right. Bro, what? <laughs> why is this thing so... I mean, I guess this is probably built like an actual medieval prison. Points for realism. Damn, doing prison breaks in this would actually be kind of hype. Yeah! Yeah! The whole brotherhood. All the Karakurgits are in here. The Legion. Yeah. Alright, that's fun. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so just like that, that is now our second clan that is hardcore supporters of us. Our second big clan, too. So, keep in mind, these guys own Revel and, uh, Ustakel. So we can, whoops, alright, autosave, come on. If we convince them to join us, we now have this whole peninsula. We convince Kulaving to join us. We get Omar and Mazadan. We have that. Who owns Cranorog again? Oh, that's uh, Ragavan. I think next up we'd want to convince the Uthalame guy. Yeah. 
they own two castles. They own Uthalame and Av Castle. Where's Av at? And this one. Perfect. If we just convince those three clans to join us, all of a sudden we own essentially all of this. We can always go ahead and finally crush the rebels in Varcheg and take that back. Yeah. Wow. I, I think this is going to work out pretty well for us. Uh, let me win this tournament real quick just because we're here. What the hell? The Salagat. <laughs> what is that? It's a horsey. It makes That makes sense. And easy little dub, just like that. All right. So, I don't know exactly how long I've been recording for. Probably not going to do too much longer. Let me see if we can get, like, one more little batch of lords to uh, drop off. And then I think this will have been a... Oh, what am I even thinking? We haven't sold off all the loot. Oh! Oh, my goodness. 14,000 dinars for a horse? Holy shit. I had no idea. I'm glad I did this tournament. Um... <sighs> Uh, that's actually crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and lock all these. Those are some two-handed swords I was crafting up earlier. Man, we we can actually sustain ourselves money-wise just through uh, Svenolf's smithing during peacetime now. I think we sell this horse off. I don't like it more than the one we currently have. I mean, I, all right. I guess we should be a good husband and see if... Can our wife even ride this? She can. Um, is it better than a TL horse? Less charge damage, almost as much HP, a lot more speed, a lot more maneuver. Ah, oh, all right, babe. Don't say I never did anything nice to you. Or for you. All right, let's do that. Let me make sure we're not selling off any of the rest of this. Oh, the Tial horse is worth almost as much as well. Jesus Christ, 12K. Why are these horses so damn expensive? My God. Um. All right. Yeah, Fainus, you're not getting that. I think we just sell it off. Yeah. All right. Any of the rest of this good before we sell off a bunch of these little shitty banners? Doesn't really look like it. All right, what's the number? We're already at 12K. Twenty. Hold up. Let me just double check. Okay, no, no, no. We're good, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Fifty thousand, fifty thousand, and we didn't even get any of the money from ransoming off uh, the lords we had. We had prisoner. That would have been another probably at least twenty grand, thirty grand. Holy shit! Fifty G's, baby. That's good. That's pretty nice. Boom. Yeah, that's sick. All right. Uh, how are we doing in terms of? I think we have way too much food and i think that's weighing us down yeah we just keep on getting way too much grain from all the lords that we kill just bring us down to 170 that gives us a lot of room here cool all right nice let's yeah let's go ahead and um not really a great way for us to hit back to caravan seth to pick up more units let's just go back down see if we can't pick up a few more of those small lords we saw running around before the end of the episode and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Oh, that's kind of awkward. All right. Uthalame is uh, currently getting sieged by <laughs> the Omega 1300-man army, Amanon. Um, all right. Yeah, sorry. Not much we can do about that, champ. I don't know how many troops you have in the garrison here, but uh, not enough is the answer. Holy shit. What an opportunity here for us. Okay. So, we have... Oh, that was the little pesky guy that's been running around fast as fuck. Haven't been able to catch. He actually finally got caught by uh, somebody. Garios, the leader of the Western Empire, just attacked uh, the army that was sieging here. I don't know how many people he actually had in his army. I'm guessing not much. Look, Gersico's castle is barely anybody. Um, how, how good are his troops? I don't think they're that great. He has a lot wounded right now. I think we're going to wait for him to wipe out the Shorky, I think. Who is the Shorky uh, a part of? Vezoving. Mm, that is one that we would like to have on our side. 
What do we get more of? Do we get more relation by us actually capturing Garyos and dropping him off with somebody? I think we do. I think we do. I think we let him get taken out. And then we immediately attack Garyos. Yeah. Especially since he has them prisoner and now we're going to rescue them. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is way better. This is way better. Okay. That being said, this is still not an easy fight. He outnumbers us still. Um... I'm looking at what he's got here. I'm not seeing anything too crazy. In fact, I don't... Where are his... Uh, he's only got three elite cataphracts? Yeah, we fight him here. Oh, what are you doing? Sven, I'll fight him. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. <laughs> I, I clicked on him and Sven off started running the other way. Um, Sven off, it's been a while. Yeah, what's up, Emperor Garios? Uh, you know what the deal is, man. We gotta fight. Yeah, this is the great- this is the best way to cap off the episode. Capture a shit ton of Empire Lords, and then capture the Emperor himself. Let's do this. Um. Yeah, I think we're just more- yeah, we're, I think our troops are just way more elite than his arm right now. And admittedly, we are the aggressors in this. Hopefully he charges us. I hate when we have to slowly, like, walk towards them and engage them, but I, I don't think we're going to have to do that here. Even though we initiated this battle, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Oh my god, they have such an uphill advantage, though. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not ideal. Alright, tell you what, let's, um... If we can, let's move over... Oops. Over here. How do I get them to pivot and turn the other way? How do I do that? The fuck, how did... F7? Oh, no, I face him. Okay. Face him, like, this direction. There we go. That's pretty cool. Alright, I haven't actually tried doing that yet. Shield wall. And then you guys over here. Shield wall as well. Alright, cool. Horse! Get off your horses! Dismount everybody. Nice, nice. Okay. Soldiers! Everyone, start moving over here. I want to... Let's use this rock as a uh, natural barrier. And not really. That doesn't put our archers in a good spot. We're going to put our archers... Like, right there. Infantry wall right there. I think that's the move. If we can get there in time. Shit, our infantry are not moving too fast. Um... Crap. Uh... Let's do that so they move faster. Oh, shit. I've made a mistake. I've made a big mistake. I didn't even see their cavalry coming. That's gonna hurt. I didn't think they had much cavalry. Okay. Alright, we're fine. We took a couple losses, but it's not horrible. The rest of our infantry are getting into place now. The Rockwell did end up... Ooh, boy, you just tanked a big shot. Not gonna tank a, a second one, though. Alright, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Bro, I thought I was about to lose all my Batanian, like, Theons right there. I thought that was a, a wrap for our uh, elite archers. There we go. Good stuff. Yeah. That was a, it was a little ballsy thinking that we could cover that much ground before the enemy cavalry could get to us. But, uh, we did it. Alright, boom, 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 boom. Shield wall, shield wall. Everybody. And then... I still like our archers over there, if I'm being honest. Um, come here, motherfucker. Actually, wait, I'm getting right right to the crossfire. Yeah, they do still have more cavalry. Interesting. I didn't think they would. Thought they uh, already shot their load there, but I guess not. Not that they're accomplishing much with those charges. We've only lost one? What the fuck? And how, wait, how, co how come some of our dudes retreated? Is that your own blood? Oh my god, that poor Fion. He has been through the fucking wood chipper already. I don't know what happened to him. I guess it, he... <laughs> they did tank a full charge from them. That makes sense. 
All right, well, if you guys are going to do this, I'm just going to tell our boys to advance. Apollonia got a point and bow. Nice. Where's their standard bear? Oh, he's right here. Oh, risky going after him like that. Okay, hold strong, hold strong. All right, hold on. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Where the the manavlatons are, I saw some of them. Not not trying to get one tap. Not trying to get one tap. I see you. I'm not gonna let you one tap my boys either. Stop. Drop. Roll. I don't know. There we go. All right. Took out a bunch of them. Everyone just charge. All right. Get in now. Stop them. Is that Garyos? That might be Garyos himself, if we're being honest. Yeah. What the hell? Gallant Sword Sister? Is that a new unit? It's got to be a new unit. I've never seen that before. Unless it, maybe it's a mercenary? Good. A few more, a few more, baby. This is definitely Garyos. Come here, baby. Oh! <laughs> what a lucky throwing shot. Oh my god, how did that javelin hit him? That was complete luck. <laughs> For the kill. All right, we lost 11. That's a decent amount of our Druzinic champions. But 44 influence, 22 renown. Took out the emperor himself. Come on. This better be some good loot. This has got to be some good loot, right? Please. Big money, no whammies. Something good, something good, something good. Alright, you are my prisoner, Emperor Garios. And, alright, we're gonna let this guy free. Okay, so relation of one with him? Not, nah, no thanks are necessary. Boom, 15 relationship with him. Oh, that's sick. What about you? You are with Kostova Ring. All right, those are the guys who did own Gersegos, but I don't think they... they oh, yeah. Wait, no, they definitely don't anymore. <laughs> Gersegos isn't ours currently. Um, we already have 24 of them. I guess we're going to get some more. What happens when you say you owe me one? You still get the same amount. Okay, that's no difference. So we got a bunch of charm for that as well and a ton of relationship. Oh, that was so big. Oh, look at all these troops. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so worth it. Holy shit, that was so worth it. Look at all of this. 18 Otrox, some Variag veterans, a ton of Variags. Bro, no shot. Um, okay. Let's get the ones we definitely want. All the Variag line of units. Sturgeon Line Breaker. Sturgeon Heavy Spearman. Hmm. Now what? What does that put us at? Oh my god, that puts us at 108. We can only take 20 more. Um, Alright, some Veteran Infantry. They'll be fine. Veteran Foxman? Nah. Pass on you. Veteran Bowman. Petanian Highborn Youth will take... Hmm. Take the Sturgeon Soldiers. This is at 115. Guess we, guess we can take the Sturgeon Archers. Yeah, that's fine. Hmm. I'm not sure about the rest of these guys. Sturgeon Warriors, you can go down this path, right? Alright, we'll take you. I guess we'll take the Hardened, hardened Brigands after all. These are the guys that level up in the Cataphracts. I'm not convinced you're going to get there. But I guess we'll take you anyways. Eh, nah. Let's tell it. Let's just get the... Alright. And as many prisoners as you'll let me keep. Beautiful. Very 
fucking beautiful. Oh my god, it's a bunch of good units. All those are tier, what, four and above? Holy shit. Oh, come on. Oh, ooh. Okay, here we go, here we go. I was I started complaining too early. I was like, seriously, we're not going to get any good loot? We did get at least one upgrade, though. Alright, nice. We'll take that. We'll take that. Um, and let me remember, that's really good, so we're going to give this to... Tell you what, Apollonia, what are you wearing? This is better for you. There you go. Beautiful. And we'll take the rest of these. Oh, technically, this is an upgrade for you, too. Don't look quite as good, but they will protect you better. Alright, awesome. Loot it on up. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, what a great... What a great episode. We better... I feel like we should get way more relation with whoever we drop him off at, right? I mean, this is... This is the Emperor, right? Oh, we're up over 100. Oh, I should have gotten this earlier. Probably lost out on a bunch of charm. Or a bunch of relationship points. But that's fine. So this should now give us 20% bonus. For all the lords that we uh, interact with. Okay, we just signed the Lake Rats. Ugh. Uh, ooh, ransom offer for Garios. What are they offering? 6k? Get that, get that pocket change out of here. What am I going to do with 6k? Um, alright. Well, I guess what we have to do now is go to Av Castle, right? That's where Vashorking... Or, I don't know how to pronounce these names. V Vezoving? That's where they're at. Because we're already good with Kulaving. We're good now with the guys over here. Alvar's raising an army. I've never even heard of you, man. Lord's coming out of the woodworks because we've lost so many armies. Just random people are starting it up now. Alright. Come on. Something something big. Give me something big. Right, this is the right guy. Vezaving. 32 influence. Oh, this should be a ton. This should be a ton. What? Are you what? I didn't get anything! No, and the game auto-saved! What the fuck? I didn't get any relationship for that? Are you kidding me? Oh, what a letdown. Alright, at least we, you know, it was cool to take out the Emperor. And we got a bunch of relationship for the people we freed in the process of doing that. But what the fuck? Alright, well I guess that's good to know in the future. That's some bullshit. Alright, let's go ahead and sell the rest of this off. A little 10k right there. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Alright, we're gonna end this one off here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Very productive episode. Very, very productive episode. We have the two most powerful clans are heavily on our side now. We're a good amount of the way there with uh, these guys. Even though they kind of stiffed us. We delivered them the Emperor himself and they like didn't even care. Um, we're going to try to probably do something similar next episode. And if all goes to plan, we could be ready for Rebellion in the very near future. I'm talking like... Within three episodes from now, we're rebelling and starting our own kingdom. I think that's so cool. I thought it was going to take way longer, but this plan is working to perfection. Anyways, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And until next time, as always, take it easy, lads.